Special purpose systems are an integral part of many businesses and most run standard off-the-shelf operating systems such as Windows and Linux. Many of these have been around for a decade or more and run versions of the OS that are no longer supported or difficult to patch, leaving them extremely vulnerable to cyber attacks. Let's look at how Color Tokens Radar 360 can secure such mission critical special purpose systems running legacy operating systems. Here's a ticket vending machine that's based on an industrial PC running Windows XP. This is a gold mine for hackers as they can capture ATM passcodes and credit card numbers. Let's assume the hacker has physical access to the machine and the first thing he does is activate the administrative mode and shut down the kiosk application. The hacker now has full access to the operating system. He can open a command prompt or even the task manager to see the running processes. He then installs a sniffer that will capture ATM pins, credit card numbers, and other data traffic, and restarts the kiosk application. This kiosk will now function as usual, but will also send customer information back to the hacker's command and control center. Now let's look at how color tokens can lock down the system and prevent such attacks. I've installed the Radar360 agent on an identical system and have full visibility and control from the dashboard. The process tree shows all processes running on the system. To lock down the system, we need to define a whitelist of all allowed applications and processes. As this is a clean system, an easy way to do this is by selecting the device and adding all running processes to the whitelist. Now let's review the whitelist. Radar360 adds several default entries based on the operating system. These processes are generally necessary for normal operation, but you can remove any entries not essential to your specific configuration. And here are the entries unique to our system that we just added. Once we lock down the system to this configuration, any application or process not in this list will be terminated if already running or cannot be started. So let's go ahead and initiate the lockdown. and we have now locked down the system. Now let's try to hack this system. We activate the administration mode and shut down the kiosk application. Let's try to install the sniffer. Notice that it does not start. And let's try the command prompt. And this does not run either. And neither does the task manager. The kiosk application starts up normally and we are back in business. So as you can see, we are not able to launch any unapproved application even with full access to the system. Now let's take a look at the dashboard. The event summary clearly shows the applications that were blocked when we tried to start them from the desktop. And that's how easy it is to secure special purpose systems even if they run on unpatched and vulnerable platforms.